Hello, I am Rubrex and today I'll be playing some Demon Heart Hunters. I played the prequel which was a visual novel and was a really fun game. And now this is the this is the sequel which is more of an RPG. So let's we've got some settings here. Uh I think that everything is fine. Okay. So let's start new game. I did play a little bit to check how it is and it looks very good. So let's begin. I am a demon heart, both blessed and cursed. Orchard of Feline turned me against my will. And ever since, my life has been a constant struggle. Trying to tell friends from enemies. I've been imprisoned, released, and betrayed. On my journey to true freedom, I've had an ally. But he was a liar, like so many others. There was another, caged and tormented. A secret I wasn't supposed to discover. I had a choice. To release the trapped one and sacrifice my old ally. Or to simply walk away. He warned me. The child is insane and seeks the death of your kin. In his trance, he weeps for the apocalypse. A demon apocalypse. Was it true? good all right i sided with the younger demon spawn that's what i did in my last playthrough and i was um good and tactful and i had a love affair with sabrash of course <laughs> of course <laughs> the voices are really good in this game as well Me. I find myself surrounded with darkness, sitting on the double jointed leg of a huge infernal creature with a wicked grin on his face. For centuries I have been enslaved, rotting behind brick walls and anti magic seals. You humans have shackled my limbs and pierced my wings with burning blood steel chains. I cannot read for some reason. For centuries I endured this agony, until at last my willpower broke the chains driven by pain. I burned away my own wings, a feat never achieved by any other demon spawn. I am the great Thane, the wingless one, bringer of the apocalypse. Bow before my might, little demon heart. I've had this strange feeling before. The last thing I remember, going to, remember is going to sleep. Is this real? <laughs> My presence is as real as your sweating little body tossing in your bedroll right now. This is both a dream and reality. Such is my power. Yet you are soundly asleep in a peaceful forest. Or oh, how safe is it truly? You're grown complacent in your freedom, demon heart. How quickly you've grown accustomed to having it all. What do you know of me, Fane? Since I burned my wings, I have been a prisoner of boredom, free to use my demonic powers, but unable to escape my prison. So I used my time to spy on every demon heart I could find, and I found more than, an e more than any of your hunters ever did. Freedom? You used to be unjustly prisoners, much like myself. Oh wait, I did sort all those humans. Well, my concept of justice it didn't match at that of it to human judges. Demon Heart? But of course, don't you remember? Are you in a daze smitten by the glory, or do you sweet, do your sweet dreams serve to cushion you from the pain of your past? If I have gathered well, your heart has been corrupted by the witch of Feline who now lies dead. 
you have had the honor of feasting on the demon flesh of your first hand. Unlike those dirty hunters who graze on contaminated human hearts and fight with for scraps. Do you remember now? Your heart is transformed and beats of a demonic power, little human. You can survive each of your violent deaths. My deaths, that's right, I have died before. That is, until the hunters find you. They know that the key to your powers is your heart and what they gain by devouring it. There are so many coming for you. Hunters? Yes, they are the humans who hunt down demon, demon hearts such as yourself, seeking to devour your sweet black heart. You've already faced one, the witch Vera. That one was so pathetic, not even a demon heart herself, although she had a heart in her, her clutches all along. Enough already, but tonight is your night. Little female, you have all of my attention. It's your time to entertain me. But tomorrow I visit another. Tell me about your hopes, your aspirations. What are you fighting for, little human? You fight to make this world a better place? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Oh, I believe I might. We shall get along beautifully. I can already hear your helpless screams as you beg for mercy. After all, I don't expect all of you humans to be vile beasts. Leave that to us. The demon spawn runs a callous hand at my thigh and suddenly I feel like I've been naked this entire time. I try to move but I'm stuck in place and can't escape his touch. So many young demon hearts for me nowadays. You know that your womb is lifeless, don't you? Because I'm a demon highest. Yet you can still give birth to the bringer of the apocalypse. The demon spawn lifts me off the surf and pulls me into his embrace flicking his snake tongue at me. Oh god. Does it not show you all the fame and power of being the mother of our ruler? Leave me alone, as you wish. We part ways here, little flower. When the next we meet, you will die. Die! He's gonna murder Mark, us. Were you having another nightmare? Probably. Well, it seems we're both up now. It's still night, night time, so we can't have slept for long, but it might be better to continue on. We're almost in ravage, and this obviously isn't the ideal place for you to rest. You'll have a better time in my house. You'll see. Hello there, Mother. I am back as well. Uh, are you? Please don't you sleep, do you? Why waste time if I don't have to? You know, if we have... If we were to be attacked, to get attacked, your regeneration would suffer for lack of rest. Regeneration, as if I would let them wound me. I'm sure if you, your self-confidence is such a good thing. Let's just get moving. Much has happened to get set me on the, this road. Even as I am perhaps better off not remembering, still they have made me who I am. Among the pages of my journal, there were days of hope and days of utter emptiness. But I carry it with me to I carry it with me to remember. After I defeated the evil witch Rivera, my apprentice Ari and I agreed to travel together. It's also done if circumstances allowed. Of course I have another Ari, one whose mere appearance would get us in trouble. He is with me all the time. A child race who travels with us, covering his wings and his red skin with a long hooded robe. Rays are struggling between calling me bright and mother, so I eventually settle the mother, although I am merely his guardian. We are headed north, seeking refuge in the Lola City Ravage. There I should at least be safe from the southern lords who would no doubt have want me imprisoned or executed because of my heart. For now, we need to continue on. When we reach Ares' house, we should finally have some proper rest. Yeah. Alright, so this is very, very similar to Border's Gate, this layout kind of thing. But the battle system is um, front view. Um, when we first met, you were a bit hostile. It was out of concern, but yes, I was. And you kept following me. Well, well you had to, and you refused to turn back. So I had to believe how much. Life has changed, but I guess things had to happen this way. 
Many people believe in fate, especially Sylvian Ravage. Wise to believe in the prophecy of Ravage. Yes. Raze, do you think so? Of course you. You believe in it. Believe in what exactly? The apocalypse, the wind is gone, and the demon is coming to walk our earth. Or so the prophecy foretells. No one knows if it was re will really come true or when. You should best read it yourself, mother. We will come upon it soon if we are to reach Ravage and Zan Ari is welcome to church. Ari wants to know Zan Ari. How do you know Ari's real name? Could you not tell me? Is, is, it, pos is it possible you have been addressing her as Ari this entire time? I'm certain of that. Someone must have told me her name. One of my brothers, perhaps? The imposter must have told him a lot of things while he tortured him. But why would he have said my name? I'm insignificant, and and what other demon spawn might have known my name? You are not insignificant. We all have a role to play in this in the great turning of fate. Also, the imposter imposter rarely referred to anyone by name. I'm almost certain it was the great Thane who said your name when he spoke to me in my mind during the torment. What well, Thane? But how? Why does he even know me? You seem at, at peace with the other dark demons one. I am. My captor taught me that some of us have an inbred hatred for each other, but Thane and I do not share this hatred, not even for my captor. But the likes of him are out of harm out to harm you. Some are, but they, mi uh, they are mis they misguided. The torment ends and we have seen. Your captor's torment continues though. It does. If you had no other way to free me but to sacrifice him. But you shouldn't worry about it. In our internal lifespans, he and I might have both been become imprisoned and released countless times over. I cannot read. I I want to get this. Yay! I like this. This is really nice. Yay! Alright, let's go. Avoid the snake. Avoid the spider. Go away. Uh, okay. Yay! Alright. I like the save screen. It's a really cute save screen. Right. Yeah. And then you got the log, which is the recent uh, messages. Then you got your journal, which shows the backstories, which is really, really nice. I like this. And inventory. I like this inventory. Very nice and sleek. You got like many slots as well. Six slots, party gold, health, you know. And you got the character, which explains about the character and your skills. Yeah. Ever since I've tricked into eating a deep piece of demon flesh and becoming a demon heart, my life has never been the same. I learned that many people were haunting me for my demonic powers and that I could hardly trust anyone. In my hometown, Feline, I was sentenced to death, but I eventually escaped. Since then, I have been developing self-defense and offense skills and making do. I had to take this path, or I would never live to see another day. My demonic talent and speed allowed me to attack quickly and evade enemy attacks. Yeah, the, the reason how she escaped is because she died. She got her head cut off. Yeah, and then you can talk to the characters as well. You feel the best. This is the south of the Ravage. I have I've often travelled this road. There's also one on from the north, though that has been more out of service or not as of late. All my business have been in the south, so I didn't really mind until now. Mother. What do you think? A forest like any other, or is it? Is there something special about this place? A magical secret from a different world? I thought not. Yeah, he he was like born not that long ago. <laughs> Holds it. All who go to Revis must pay the toll. Our toll? Huh. For what? Walking in the forest? You think you're smart, Red Girl? Come to think you can pay us something other than gold. When I am Ari of the Church Ravage, the priest will reward you for keeping the peace with us. 
Turtle to Ravage, that's all the more reason not to let you go. Sure could use some of that. Two girls out here in the woods. Hehe. <laughs> they are not alone. What's that? Some wannabe kid protecting you? We'll make short sure work of him. Grace pulls down his hood and spreads his wing underneath his robe. What in the hell is a blasted demon? Run, my pal! We can't let them go after what they've seen. Correct. Raise an arrow attack at once. <laughs> Yellow. Alright, attack. And burn. Yeah. And what else? What else can I do? Magic. There's no point, really. He's nearly dead. Yeah. I really like the UI. I'm sorry we had to go through this before even arriving in Ravage. No issues here. Um list that way. List three ways. You must not show yourself to the people. Oh but I thought killing them wouldn't result in any serious consequences. I'm sorry, but what we did to these men, they were just trying to survive and in quite an unethical way. Also, Brian, your armor's fallen apart. It has been since ever since your encounter with him. My captor? Is he the one who destroyed my armor? Um, yes, you're talking about him. Yet he dead accused me of being the destructive one. You trapped me before I even knew what I was. I didn't want to remind you of him. I'm so sorry. My point was, you need a new armor. Bright, I mean. Unless we're going to stay home as housewives, which is a possibility, um, wait until you see my house is so close. Um, I like this armor, but you're right, this won't serve me for defense anymore. Alright, let's save again, because I'm an obsessive saver. Can I not save? Oh, let's just grade for some reason. Um, I want you to, to, to turn down the music as well because it's a bit loud. Uh, how do I turn? Oh shit. Alright, put it on 30, 40. There we go. Because it over. it drowns out the. Um, what's it do? The voices. Unless they're on the BGM as well. Let me see if there's anything else I can grab. No? Okay. Time to go. I don't like that noise. No. Now that we're here, you will need to know about the Church of Ravage. They are probably the most important fetch in the city. Important, my royal behind. Yes, it's about time you tell me more about them. The Church of Free abandoned the port long ago, time ago. When the curse of the surrounding lands made it difficult to travel in and out of Ravage. It was then that the Church of Ravage, of Ravage was founded, and in time their numbers grew. They accept new brothers and sisters quite often and provide benefits such as full and food and shelter. I can't read. I'm sorry. Much needed into the dark times that have befallen the city. Of course, they share their resources with the non members as well. On top of that, their beliefs are based on deep respect for the infernal fathers. What more could a witch ask for of in religion? Do they worship demons, which goes? Uh, do they sh worship demons? No, they worship both actually. They f believe in four gods instead of three. The fourth god has been Virgo, who made peace with the infernal beasts. Anyway, I just wanted you to know a bit about the church since you're bound to run into some more of the, their members. As for myself, my membership is more of a side thing these days. Oh my god. <laughs> the voices are so loud I got scared. It feels so good. <laughs> the great fane has told me of a place in the human world where the infernal fathers were uh, worshipped and desires of flesh fulfilled to all humans who ask, is this your church? The great this is this is no topic for a child do not consider me a child i learn faster than you know yeah it's so reluctant 
speak freely in front of Reyes at an altar. Found it strange that Fane would speak to him of these things so soon in his life. Unfortunately, it's true. People can ask members of the church for carnal, carnal favours, but it's only one of the things the church does for the people. It's a rule of the church that every brother and sister should answer such requests, but many of us don't. It's as simple as that. It is a church of love, and you don't get punished if you are unable to provide that love. Still, I don't like being out in the street much. Many know of my aff affiliation with the church, and people get the wrong expectations. I mainly join them for the law, to see their statues and read the books. We should fit nice in the city. Will I be worshipped? If the members of the church see you, uh, I'm sure if we should give them the honour, what if they try to take you away from us? We'll stay hiding, Reyes is the safest way. I will not allow them to hold me for long. The great fame has made it clear that beyond some carnal pleasures, there is really nothing ready in this church. Has he? Does he know we worship him? We have a statue called the Great Fane's Throne. Oh, he never said so, but he must know. He sees your church as no more than a passing amusement. No influence on the fate of the f no influence on the fate of the this world whatsoever. What do you think, Reyes? Is it good to have a religion that brings humans and demons closer together? I have no opinion on the matter, so I've adopted things. One day, I will draw your, my own conclusions, but for now, I rather learn from the others. So, when we pass the gate, we need to turn left, and we'll soon reach my house. I hope you'll like it. Okay. And there's boxes I could grab. Yay. Yay. Yay! There's another one over there. It's a bit misty, I can't see anything. Right. This is her house. Oh, wait, there's something there. There's something there. There. There, there. It says. It's Irish mailbox and there's no, there's nothing inside right now. Okay. Let's go inside. <laughs> it's been such a long time, it's a wonder my house hasn't been robbed while I was gone. Or has it? We'll have to I check. Was wondering. How long are we supposed to stay here? We'll have to see how it goes. As far as I'm concerned, you are both welcome in my home forever. You can rest here as well as see you tomorrow. We had a peaceful stay in Iris house. One night's rest turned into days and days turned into weeks. We explored rubbish together, but it always felt like there was more for me to learn. One thing I learned was that rubbish was in a bad state as far as cities go. Look at map. And that due to the surrounding lands being cursed, it was difficult to, to even reach the city from the north or west. One of the reasons tra trade died out. Also, during this entire time, there was no sign of brush, even though we promised to meet again. I used the time I, I used the time I had to practice and try to gain control over my demon heart speed. I got a thousand experience on thievery and chaos attack, and I leveled up. Also, I had the opportunity to practice picking locks. I already had some lock boxes with keys long long lost so she gave me some hairpins and had permission to use them i got thieves swords i've had plenty of time to reflect on my past there was so much betrayal it became a demon heart against my i became a demon heart against my will i was tricked ever since it happened swarms of people have wanted me dead my transformed heart is both a blessing and a curse it gave me the power of regeneration that is stronger than death and a talent of speed. But other humans can steal my powers by killing me and devouring my heart. And quite a few uh, have been willing to try. There's no time to be human will gain speed, strength or something else from their demon heart. Depends on the person. 
with the more hearts or deem it best one consumes the more their power increases. I am considered an outlaw in my hometown, Feline. Although I am not guilty of the crime and sentence for return a sentence for returning would be would be highly undesirable. I was supposed to be dead. If they see me alive they will know that I am and more hunters will come after me. I am not allowed to contact anyone from my old life. There are only a few who know I'm still alive. I did write to my parents after we settled down in Ravage. Hope they've kept it a secret. Even though I've known a lot of betrayal, I also made a few allies along the way, and also as it seemed. I think about my allies. Ari is a young witch who betrayed her old mistress, the evil witch Rivero, to help me. Their relationship was abusive and began with Ari is affiliated with the church, or cold, or ravage. Of ravage. She seems to have great, great respect for the Infernal Fathers, that is, demons. Most of the time, it feels like her respect stems from fear, though. Before I traveled to Vare, there was Sir Brash. He was one of the seven lines of Scarswall. When the lord of my hometown became allies with the tyrant lord Mace, Mace sent two of his knights to help us fight Rivera. While Sir Jarwin stayed back to abuse our soldiers, Sir Brash was tasked with going on an expedition with me and a couple more warriors. It turned out Brash was a heartless demon hunt. His heart stood somewhere in Inferno that, hopefully for him, will never be revealed. This would make Brash a less likely target for the hunters than myself as they had nothing to gain from him. Brash fell in love with me, but his orders prevented him from getting close to me. That was why he tried to make himself hate me, but his tactic didn't work, especially since I fell in love with him too. Oh. Eventually we made it up. We made up, but Brash had to return to Lord Mace. We promised to meet again at a certain time and place, but he never came. I wonder if something held him back, or if he stopped caring about me once all the danger was over. Did he only want me because we couldn't be together? Did he forget me, or did something happen to him? Rose is a demon's born, half human, from his mother's side. His mother was a powerful witch. Raze looks roughly like a twelve-year-old boy, but he is even younger. The demon's born grew up very quickly. I was supposed to be there for him when, from the start. But we were separated. Raze was captured and tortured, both physically and mentally. One of the first things Raze ever told me was something about another demon spawn called Fane. It seems the older demon spawn had a way to speak to him while he was held prisoner, like telepathy. I released Raze from his prison and fought him and brought him here to Iris House, where we both take care of him. Things were starting to look up, and his recovery was going well. Yay, said Brash, Ari and Reyes. I've slept really well for the past several nights, and then it happened. She has a nightmare. <laughs> Did you think I would let you sleep tonight? We've had such a nice chat the last night. Um, I am always eager to re rendezvous with my demon heart females. Which one of you shall t I take for my bride? Your bride? Are you trembling with excitement at the fort? But there are great obstacles between us, little flower. We are far away and I have other allies hungry for my gifts. There are also my feelings to consider. Jealousy is a vicious thing. I look at you and find myself feeling so wicked and old. You have far too many friends for my liking. Why do you inspire such loyalty? Perhaps I would take them in for my inter interrogation. Fuck you, no way. How many friends do I actually have? Leave my friends alone. No, I have to take one for myself. Be a nice little human and let me take my pick. One of them is on the way and still haven't reached you. So we'll leave that one alone. Your witch, I can tolerate you keeping. She'll be drooling at my loins in no time anyway. But the red one. <laughs> red one. That poor child. I think you are a bad influence, flower. 
What do you know of raising children anyway? Demons born children. I better take this boy into my own hands. I am the perfect father figure after all. Leave him alone. <laughs> He's already been decided. It's already been decided. I do enjoy giving these speeches when it's too late for you to change anything. No, I want to sleep. Leave me alone. I will not be taking your life. Not today. Am I not gracious giving you this chance? Fight. What? What? Oh no, I'm being attacked. I do wish the um, fight was a bit faster. Let's have this one. Oh, I get my health recovers. That's cool. Do that one. Critical hit. Assassins here in our hideout. No. Please. I killed him. Oh, those bodies on the floor. I guess we should both be thankful for the odd amount of speed. I also received a warning in my dream. A warning from Raze? No, actually. Raze has been adopted. Did those men take him away? No, not these guys. Fane took him away. The great Fane, the wingless one, bringer of the apocalypse. Soon to be feared we raised again but but Fane isn't really known as the wingless one. He was imprisoned in Shimir centuries ago so I don't know what influence he could possibly have. Also he he is a true demon's born wings and all. Well he just informed me that he managed to burn his wings a while back and now he has freed himself. This is um an interesting turn of events. Yeah, another demon spawn has come forth and revealed himself to you. Why do they find you so attractive? I mean, I can understand, but I guess the demon spawn are drawn to you for being a demon knight. Ari, Raze is gone. This is no time to worship other demon spawn. Sorry, it's pretty awful that he took him away. How would what would Fame want with Raze? Apparently, he wants to raise him instead of me. So he actually did it out of affection? I know, you don't find it so romantic. Fane did wake me up in time to defend myself, and he said he wasn't going to kill me today. I also tried to wake you up with a scream when I saw the assassin. Look, in my educated opinion, Fane is too powerful to have as an enemy. The best you can do is play his game and hope he'll give you a re hint to return Ray's arm to our side. And, but these assassins, who are they? They were all dressed the same. This was an organized attack, and whoever is after us knows where we live. Was Fane involved with them? Did he say anything? He didn't say, but he knew they were coming. Coincidence or not? Maybe he was only watching us because of Reyes. If he sent the assassins, we are in deep, deep mess. We are in a deep mess, okay. He wasn't on his side, yeah, that one. Maybe he he's all a, it's all a game to him. At any rate, right, my home is no longer our safe haven. Someone is on our track. I don't know how we could hope to avoid the great fiend, but these humans here, we can, we need to leave the city. I know I wanted to come here. I miss, I missed up my home, and we did, and we did have a little break from traveling. Now plans are for teaching Ray's about the human world have been spoiled. I listen to find a way to recover him. And if that doesn't happen, I really hope Fane means what him well. Um The Dean Boy no <laughs> damn Dean spawn here again. You really think Fane might me mean him well? It's a possibility, right? We can only hope. 
I don't know how much we can really do at this point. Rose is out of our reach and we are here, hunted. If assassins are after us, there's no higher power to turn to. Yes, well, I knew we couldn't stay here forever. Good, I'm sorry that we couldn't make any long-term plans here. We need to explore our possibilities for leaving. It should be common sense that we can't go south here, where there are an outlaw and I am believed to be dead. So unless there's going to be a ship leaving soon, north is where we need to go. The house is in a pretty bad shape. Could you go to the forum in the northeast of town and check if any royal messenger arrived? I'd rather stay in Kleenak. If there's a royal messenger, ask him for ask him or her about the state of the road. Aren't you concerned for my safety? I trust that you'll be careful. You picked up a lot of skills since the first time we met. Well Well Well. I didn't even know that was there. Anything else? There's a hat on the bed. Why can't I get that? Okay. Hey, what's that? What is that? I like a library of your own, but we don't have much time for reading right now. Well. Well. My experience working with the healer was filling under a few re recipes for making cures. Then I mostly don't need cures, their effects are so they might demonic regeneration. They may come in handy for hidden or an immortal after are they after combat, or if I come upon a personal need. Also, people should be willing to pay well for these products. I use equipment here to convert various ingredients into healing powders and poison powders. A healing powder can be used to craft healing cells and poison powder to prove my skill. Healing cells? Need it? Well. Well, I never. What's this? Nothing in the table. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright. So we've explored everything, right? I think so. So um I'm gonna stop it here and I'll be back in the next episode. So I'll see you then. Hello, so today we're going to be ranking it from gameplay, graphics, engagement, and music. So for gameplay I'll give it five out of five cool cats. Because um the battle system could be done a bit quicker and um, otherwise everything else is really good like I love the the mechanics like the, when you um, pick up stuff and it's, it shows a little box and you could click on the items to grab them and um, the journal is really nice as well and it's nice and sleek and yeah and like it just reminds me of the Borders Gate. When I look at it, it just reminds me like when you click on the characters, you could talk, interact with them. I like that feature. And um, what else? Graphics, the bust work. These artworks are really, really amazing. It's, it, I just like the style. It's like you see, it reminds me of a painting. That's why I like it. So I will give four it out of five cool cats because I don't like the characters and tile sets used because I'm not a fan of that style but it suits this game well so um, that's why I'm not giving it such a low ranking um, and engagement like this game was the first one was a visual novel so I understand why there's so much dialogue that's what and I'm gonna give five out of five cool cats because um, it has such an amazing story so far and I love the voices as well <laughs> the music is awesome the only not it, it's not the music I'm mad with it's the sound effect when you, you transfer from maps 
that's the only annoying part about it otherwise everything else is amazing so i'll still give that five out of five cool cats so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next episode <laughs>